Have you ever wondered what happened to Sam Puckett? My name is Samantha Puckett. I'm from Seattle and I love fried chicken. Let's fast forward to the present and see what happens next. What if it's a few years after Sam moved in with Kat, who is getting ready for an audition that could make her super famous? So Sam decides it's time for a new adventure. Her first stop, visiting her BFF Carly in Italy. Sam books a last minute trip and soon she's eating real Italian lasagna with her best friend. And the lasagna was so much better than Peenies. Wow, that's a lot of Parmesan. What are you, the cheese keeper? Sam and Carly spend two incredible weeks together. They visit the tourist sites, do a little shopping, cause some havoc, and eat lots of food. But as much fun as she was having, Sam decides to go back home to Seattle. So after lots of hugs and a tearful goodbye, she is on her way back to the Emerald City. Fast forward a few days, and Sam is sitting alone in her apartment. Boredom sets in without Carly and Freddie there to entertain her. Freddie just had to go to tech school and leave her all alone. Sam starts looking through some job ads on her phone. Babysit? So if you've got kids or pets, and you don't want them around for a while, bring them on down to Sam and Cat Supermarket Fun Time Babysitting Service. Contact us at Sam and Cat Supermarket Fun Time Babysitting Service on next. Done with that. Maybe instead of babysitting, be a manager. Sorry, I'm writing up an employee review of you. <laughs> No, 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 you can't do that. Only supervisors can write employee reviews. I am a supervisor. I gave Sam a promotion. What? Sam's my boss now? Yep. No, that is too much responsibility. And there it is, the perfect job opportunity. A professional fat cakes taste tester. Mm. Mm. Without skipping a beat, Sam makes her way to the land of fat cakes where she demands to speak to a manager. Manager. Kind of startled, but also kind of intrigued. The hiring manager gives Sam an interview. The interviewer asks Sam one final question. How much do you love fat cakes? Sam proudly tells her. Mama knows her fat cakes. Revealing a backpack full of them. Intrigued by Sam's passion, the hiring manager gives Sam the job on the spot, and it may or may not have had anything to do with seeing the butter sock in Sam's backpack. Sam starts her new job as the official Fat Cakes Chase Tester. Fat shakes, cookies, cupcakes, and even fatter cakes. Dream job! But a few weeks go by, and it's taking longer than usual to fill orders. Sam is spotted snacking on a dozen fat cakes straight from the assembly line, which leads to her being fired on the spot. You're fired! But not before she takes some fat cakes for the road. Sam hops on her motorcycle and drives off. After driving for what seems like hours, Sam stops at a local diner known for its fried chicken. I was on my way to the drugstore, but then I stopped off at Tub of Chicken. Why did you stop there? For a tub of chicken. And she orders an extra large platter of chicken. Two intimidating Get people up. walk in and glare at Sam. The smaller of the two informs yeah, her, this booth belongs to the obliterators. Sam, being Sam, Make me. refuses. The person lunges for Sam, but she lands a shot with her trusty butter sock. Let's shake him up. What is that? A sock full of butter. For what? For swinging. I could brand an outfit with this thing. The butter sock does its job, and Sam goes back to devouring her fried chicken. The other individual introduces himself as Bones, the leader of the obliterators. Impressed by Sam's skills, Bones explains that the obliterators are about to make a cross-country motorcycle trip and could use a girl like her in their crew. Really? Sam, with no other obligations, explains she will join under one condition. They buy her all the fried chicken she wants. Bones agrees mm -hmm. and welcomes her as an official member of the obliterators. Sam fits in with the rest of the crew easily. They joke, they eat, 
And more importantly, they ride. Sam realizes this is her dream. This is her bliss. And there's nothing else she would rather do. I just want to make things again. You don't need a partner to do that. Yeah, I don't need a partner. I need Sam. But she's off following her bliss with that biker gang. The obliterators. <laughs> hope she's okay. It's Sam. I hope they're okay. 